Hey, he did it. He, Gerald made it one round of the scream. Gerald, my screaming goat. That signals that it's seven o'clock on a Monday. Welcome. You're on Tamara's Paper Trail. I am Tamara Bertram, coming to you from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. And this is Mystery Card Monday on a cold, cold, cold Monday, October 21st. Have you been outside today? It was minus two. Oh, it was it was biting today. I don't know if it was humidity or what was going on, but it was nasty cold. It was warmer in the mountains. Like seriously, I think it was, uh, was it five degrees? So literally it was warmer, but you'd think that five degrees minus two, like it was a world of difference. It was cold here today. Hello, Penny. Hi, Cindy. Happy Monday, my friends. Hey, Sherry, Kathy. I know. Um, and the house just hasn't warmed up today, although the thermostat says it's like 22 in here. Like, we're all running around wearing sweaters and like, yeah, it felt really, really cold today. So I don't know what's going on. Hello, Missouri. Hello. Hi, Carmen. 25. Oh, okay. Do I want to know where that is? Oh, Carmen. I'm jealous. Hello, Sonia. Hi, Jen. Leanne. Hi, Heather. Is it warm in Ontario? Uh, we just got a storm system from B.C., and that turned things nasty. And actually, uh, my friend uh, Lucy just sent me a picture of Canmore. You can't, you can't even see the highway. <laughs> it's like, oh, and my, my eldest is going to Canmore on Friday. So hopefully it melts fast. Oh, my Lord. Oh, Cindy. Excellent. Fantastic. Okay. Hey, so busy, busy week in all the right ways. Um, I'm actually, you know how I always come in here complaining that I'm tired? <laughs> I am tired today, but you know why? You want to know why? Because I'm actually sleeping. And I think my body is going to Toronto. Oh, really, Carmen? Wow. Okay. Oh, hello, Judy and Sook. Hello. Um, my body, I think, is going, oh, that's what sleep is. Okay. Saturday night, I went to bed at, I think, 9.30. And I my head hit the pillow and I was out and I slept for eight hours straight. I was very impressed with my bladder. Well done. <laughs> And then uh, last night I slept for seven hours straight and I woke up and I'm like, oh, like I could have taken, I wanted to take a nap just before dinner and I pushed through, but I think my body is finally going, okay, you can breathe now. As you know, I went to Canmore uh, for two nights, three, well, we drove on Wednesday, we were there Thursday, we drove home on Friday. And that is just my happy place. I don't, I don't care what's going on in the world. Um, I cannot be stressed when I am in Canmore. It is just, oh, the closer you get to those mountains and you're rolling down the window and you crank up the heat so you don't freeze. But that mountain air is just soul changing. It, you, you can't be stressed there. You cannot be stressed there. Uh, and it was lovely. You know, you go on a Wednesday. Let me tell you, it's not real busy, um, which was fantastic. Uh, we got there and we had plans to go into Canmore and just tool around town a little bit, um, go to our favorite spots. And, uh, but then the skies opened and it started to rain. So we were like, yay, it's raining. We have to go home now. Um, because we're a couple of homebodies and the place we stay it is at the Stone Ridge Resort. Uh, it's, it's a condo. And so there's a full kitchen. There's the, a bathtub that's like twice as long as me. The shower, you could have a party of four in there, honestly. Uh, and there's a fireplace and a kitchen and really comfy chairs and a couch. And so we opened the door to the patio, which also has a barbecue on it. Like, it's crazy, you guys. It's crazy. Uh, I, and so it's really, really cold in there. And then we turn on the fireplace. We just sit under blankets and we read books and we do stuff like that. And it was just so, so, so fabulous. Uh, it was everything. I We just had the best time. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, turned around, came home Friday. We got home around 2.30. Literally unpacked had a bite to eat, packed up the car, headed out to Mournville, uh, set up for the extravaganza, um, went to the post office to mail some stuff, came home, went to bed, got up, and then it was all day extravaganza, which was so fun. It's always so fun, you guys. Uh, so thank you to everybody who came. Uh, for the long distance gals who registered, your packages will be in the mail uh, tomorrow, Tuesday. Um, there's free shipping on Tuesdays, but I can only mail three packages at a time. So anyway, they'll all be out tomorrow. Uh, Linda, you're okay with the next Tuesday, but I'm going to see, um, I've got a friend who has a code and if she doesn't use it, I might get yours in the mail tomorrow too. So it was just a fantastic weekend. And then guess what I did yesterday? Guess what I did on Sunday? Let me tell you what I did because my family was like, are you okay? Should we call someone? I sat in front of the television 
for eight hours. I binged TV and I don't binge TV. Like maybe if I'm cross-stitching or coloring or something. I sat there for eight hours staring at the TV. Thoroughly enjoyed it. It was absolutely amazing. I was not stressed. I most like I've, I've, I'm on, on, on downhill now. Like everything was uphill, uphill, uphill. And then I peaked on Saturday and now it's like, ah, okay. So today has been another relaxing day. Usually Mondays are my busy, busy day. And by 1230, as, uh, Alicia's still not working. She starts next week. And I said, uh, Costco run. She's like, yeah. So we did Costco and then we did Superstore and then we prepped and then it was dinner. And like, it's just been, I'm chill now. Like I don't have anything really, really pressing down on me. That's extremely urgent. So um, I, Heather, I've been watching uh, Only Murders in the Building. I've heard good things about it, and I guess there's four seasons. I, I think I watched six episodes back to back. Um, <laughs> that is unheard of for me, but I was thoroughly enjoying it, watching it all by myself. It was fabulous. Uh, well, Craig joined me. I had to fill him in because he joined in on about episode four, so I had to tell him what was going on. But hi, Sandy. Hi, Eddie. Nice to see you. Um, so it's been fantastic. I am in... I'm, I'm feeling recharged. I'm not feeling, I'm not cranky. And I listen to music, which might not be weird to anybody but my daughter. We were in the car today and she went, Mom, the radio's on. I said, yeah, I know. Uh, Dolores doesn't listen to music. Like when I drive and when I create, it's dead silent. And Lord help anybody who turns on the radio in my car. It's always off. Always always off. We drove to the mountains and probably four of the five hours, the radio was off. <laughs> hey, Marcella. Um, but on the last, so coming home, the radio was on and it was on today running errands. And I said, apparently, uh, stressed out, cranky Dolores doesn't like music, but relaxed Dolores can tolerate it a little bit. If there's an annoying song, it gets turned down really low. But anyway, it's just, it's a sign that I'm starting to let go and relax and release. I've said no to three things this weekend. Um, and that's a bit of a big deal for me. I said, no, I said no. So yay. I hope you had a fantastic weekend. Um, so speaking of, Oh yeah, Kathy. No, like uh, Alicia's like, I don't know how you can drive without the radio on. Mm -mm, I would drive all the way to the mountains with nothing on if it were up to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But then it was a little, well, it didn't get awkward, but Alicia's like, mom, please can we turn on the radio? So we, we listened to some Mozart. That's all we could find in Red Deer. It was either country or Mozart. So then it went off. <laughs> okay. Speaking of extravaganza, you guys, Hey, uh, are you sad that you live far away and you cannot have, you, know, you didn't get to the extravaganza? Kathy, tell all the people how awesome it was. I have two kits left. Now, oh, you must sing. Well, you're happier than I'm cranky. I'm just too cranky to sing. I know. <laughs> Hello, Marsky. Oh my gosh. Marsky, you're my favorite. <laughs> I have two packets left over. So guys, here's what happened. Um, when I was prepping kits, we, we prepped, I over prepped because math is hard. And the math worked better. Like when, when you buy packages of paper and so on and so forth, a pack of cardstock, there's 24 sheets. Well, guess what? If you cut that in half, you end up with 48 card bases. Hmm. So we had 44 people registered. So I said, well, let's make 48. Just to make the math work. Uh, why have leftover cardstock? I'm die cutting anyway. What's another What's another four? So I did sell, we did sell off some of the extras at the event, but I do have two kits left. And so if you're interested, they're $55, uh, which is a smacking good deal because you're getting all of the, all of the, pro all the stuff to make nine projects and a PDF and you get part packs, like look at all the things you get. So if you've ever taken a class with me, you know how it works. This is the envelope that makes everything in this envelope makes the one card. So everything you need is in there. Okay. Uh, and they're all tucked in. So you get nine cards, full full cards. So one, two, there's nine. Trust me, there's nine. And then you're also making either three tags. Oh, right. No, Tracy corrected me. Yes, I have three. I'm sorry. Uh, I do have three packets. Thank you, Tracy. It's good. Good thing I have my phone over here. It glows at me when it uh, somebody is texting me. Um, then there are also, there's a little, a little packet that will make either six tags or three 3d boxes which um i don't have i don't have any of the samples with me but here's here's the like the pdf tracy did the pdf and it shows you step by step uh here's how to put your cards together so here's here's the one card like here's one card okay uh another card and the other card so there's three of each 
And then you can make either tags uh, like that, or you can make them into a box, like this little treat holder box. So you get all of that for $55. Oh, and then you also get a half a pack of the berries, a half a pack of the adhesive back metallic something or others, a half a roll of linen thread and a half uh, a thing of the satin vanilla ribbon. $55, smacking good deal. If anybody wants one, comment, comment now. Uh, I have no doubt that these will sell because a lot of you, as you know, my card classes are $40 for three. Liz wants one, okay. Oh, and Lena wants one. Is there a third? Two are gone. Let's go for one more. Um, and then, sorry ladies, of course, they'll ha I'll have to mail them. Um, and I'm not sure it, Mm, the cheapest way to mail them is probably now you can change your mind uh now hold on judy um the shipping if i put them in the boxes the small the extra small box uh oh Ali alexina i'm i think you're fourth and i only have three i've got judy and i've got liz and i've got lena so i'm sorry alexina i don't think i have any left um but the shipping is going to be the boxes went up to 17.99 plus tax math is hard so, um, oh, you do, Liz. Okay. I was good. Oh, yes. Yes. If you're willing to wait, absolutely. Or Liz, if you give me your code. Yeah. Uh, okay, cool. Oh, okay. Well, see now, Tracy, next time we're just going to have to cut more. <laughs> okay. Now I don't want to set a precedent. Oh, see now there's too many. Cheryl and Cora. Okay. Maybe I should cut more. Not happening, friends. Um, okay, so the first three ladies who commented, uh, you'll get them. I will figure out how to mail them to. If you can wait, I can mail them for free on the free shipping. But you're going to have to wait a week or two or send me your code. We'll figure it out. We'll chat. Let's get making some cards, okay? Thank you, my friends. Um, it was a fabulous day. We, we thoroughly enjoyed it. Thank you to everybody who came. To, thank you to everybody who came and everybody who's doing the to-go. Right. Now I'm all kerfuffled because now I've got too many people. I'm sorry to disappoint. I don't like to disappoint. But hey, if you still want to take classes, I have my, I have two, I have two spots left for my virtual um, decorative trees class. I wonder where my cards are. There they are. Decorative trees. Oh, Lord, I'm a hot mess. One, two, three. I have two packets left, $40, uh, but it's this Friday, so you might not get it in time, but that's okay. You can watch the recording um, after the fact, but I can mail these. I've got two packs left for that. Then I've got my reindeer class. That I still have lots left. Reindeer, reindeer, reindeer. So those are, I want to say $90, but I don't know how much they are. $90 or $100 for porch for long distance. Um... That's coming up October 25th. November 15th, I'm doing my bird class. So uh, it is not a piece on earth. It is, there's another scent. I have another one here somewhere. Anyway, these are the cards, just the sentiments you figure out. Here, oh, here, this sentiment and this one. Here's the other bird. Uh... Here he is, this one. So these are the bird uh, the bird cards that we're making. And this is, mm, I want to say November 15th. November 29th. November 29th. Oh, I'm a hot mess. Hi, guys. Ooh, Crystal wants the reindeer. Okay, Crystal, fill in a form for me because I haven't, uh, I don't know. Fill in a form. <laughs> Let's make some cards. Enough of that. Okay, this Friday is October 25th. Uh, November 29th. This, oh, okay. Uh, trees is this Friday. Then's the reindeer, November 15th. Then that last one, the birds, is the 29th of November. Okay. Clear as mud. Oh, Lord. Okay. All right. Let's make a card. <laughs> is the bird class one set we got early? Yes, Crystal. That was, oh. That was easy. Oh, okay. That was okay. I'm all right. <laughs> That was shocking. Fell. Okay. Uh, yes, Crystal, that's the um, nest, the birds, what's it called? Uh, nests of winter. And yes, that was part of creativity now or on stage or something. Yes, yeah, so you might have it. So double check. You can just take the class for $40. Very good, Melanie. Thank you. Watch the replay. It was great. Okay. 
<laughs> you guys. All right. Um, so tonight's class, sorry, 15 minutes in, you know how it works. Um, so we're going to make a card tonight. I got a little carried away. I have made four in the last hour because I was like, well, this is easy. We're just going to do this, right? That easy button that just went, well, this is easy. Um, I found that layout from a girl I follow. She's in the States. She's in Mount Pleasant, Michigan. And her name is Heidi Collins. And her handle is on you go. On you go. O-N-Y-G-O. -O -O. On you go. I don't know. Okay. So on ego stamping.com is her website, but I found this, I had it in my Pinterest tickle trunk of cards. I wanted to try. Dear God in heaven. What is happening? The sky is falling. You guys. All right. All right. Everybody just settle down. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> All right. Staying on the floor, then it can't fall. All right. Uh, so Heidi Collins, I follow her. I don't follow many people on Instagram because I'm rarely on Instagram, but I follow her. And she came up, she has this layout. And I went, yes, that is the one we're making tonight. Uh, make one and you'll be hard pressed not to make a whole bunch. It's really quite addictive. So I hope you are playing along. If not, um, oh, hi, Linda. <laughs> Kathy, I love you too, sweetheart. I say it again. You'd only watch me to make me to make you feel better about your life, right? Knowing that mine's such a hot mess. <laughs> it's okay. I'm all right with it. We're gonna start with a standard card base, eight and a half by five and a half, and we're gonna fold it in half. Uh, Kathy, you and I should go to the mountains, girl. <laughs> all right. Oh. <coughs> Extra I had a little checklist here. Extravaganza kits. Yes, card classes check. Oh, starter kit. Get it. Join my team. <laughs> and all of our other kits are 10 to 30% off this month. Get them. <laughs> okay, Glory, I'll see you over on YouTube. All right. There's our card base. Now, this piece is optional. Uh, I wanted to start this card. I wanted to show you simple, simple, simple. All right, and then we can step it up. So let's do one that's super simple. This is optional, and it's also optional that you can emboss. Nope, not this. Put that away. Uh, that piece, that layer is optional. We're going to have a cardstock layer that's three and three quarters by five. Three and three quarters by five. Okay. We're going to have a cardstock layer. Now, this is this is generous. We're going one and three quarters by six. You could probably get away with it not being quite six, and you'll see why in a minute. But you need a cardstock layer, one and three quarters by six. And this can be your least favorite cardstock ever. So if there's a color you don't like, grab that and use it up uh, because it's going to be covered up and nobody's going to say it. See it. <laughs> right, Kathy? I do think that we're like sisters from another mister. All right, so cardstock, one and three quarters by six. And then this, friends, grab your swack of designer paper, all those little bits that you cut off. Do you keep them? I mean, most crafters keep them, right? And then after things start falling on you, you, um, <laughs> you can uh, package them up and throw them away. <laughs> but generally speaking, if you're anything like me, Lord help you, uh, you know, your packages of paper look like this and there's strips and there's chunks and there's tidbits and leftovers right and uh, so that's what you're going to grab they do not all have to be the same width in fact it me it's going to make it a little bit more interesting if they're not mine are all a half inch wide and all different lengths you want them to be at least three inches tall and you'll see why momentarily um, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a pattern out of these so these this is all from the regal winter designer paper and I'm just going to take my sample here. Uh, two sides to every to every sheet. Um, and so you just kind of, you just want to come up with um, a pattern of something that works well. Uh, like this. And you just whatever color pleases you. Let me see. Do I have, I'm just going to see in a few pieces, but that's all right. Uh, oh. Mm, I wanted a dark purple. Where's my dark purple? There's my dark purple. 
And then I've got, so this is all just from the same paper pack. And that's what's great about our papers is obviously is all going to coordinate. It's all in the same set. So just something like this. And it might look like the dog's breakfast when you put it down, but it, trust me, it's going to look great afterwards. So we're going to take this strip that is one and three quarters by six. She said, looking for her notes, so that one, one and three quarters by six. And what we're going to be doing Okay, we'll put our base over here, scooch that over here. And this is our top layer, which is three and three quarters by five. And this piece of paper is going to go ultimately on an angle. It can go high, it can go low, it can go wherever you want it to go. But essentially, we're going to want it to ultimately, not yet, but ultimately is going to go on your card front. So you can make it as angled as you want. There's a lot of glare on this tonight. Or you can make it not terribly angled. But whatever you want to do, we're just going to eyeball this and we're not going to tape it down. We're just going to leave it like this. I'm going to put some tape. This is going to get cut off. Okay, so I'm going to put tape here in here. And I'm going to try to get it close to the edge. Like so. Lots of tape. Use whatever you want. Yeah, sticky strip might, or um, tear and tape might be a better option for this project, but whatever. So I'm going to go like this. And now I'm going to bring in my strips of paper, laying them down. Um, <sighs> parallel, like straight up and down. Is that parallel? Straight up and down. So this is at an angle. This piece, I'm going to start and I'm going to, I'm just going to put the base of it. It where I want it there. I'm going to line it up with the left side of my layer. And it doesn't have to be, I don't have to waste all this paper. Like if, like you'll see what I'm going to do here, but you can, you're going to cut off the paper. So there might be enough that you can make two cards out of this. Well, there will be if you can uh, get your act together here. All right. So there's my first strip I'm going to lay down. And now I'm just going to butt up the next, I, I can actually move this. Now you're just going to butt up the next one right up to it. And so you see what I'm doing. I don't, you don't have to waste the whole sheet. Put it up near that, near your white layer and just keep going along. Making a nice pattern. Hey Kim, how are you? Yeah, she's fun. She's all over Instagram. She's just, she's quite the character. I like her personality. Okay. So just keep going. And if you don't have enough patterned pieces that you like, um, I'll show you on another card. You could use plain cardstock. So say you just liked uh, the red and the blue and the purple. You could just use solid red, solid blue, and solid purple instead of these other colors. If you don't like this wild wheat color, well, don't use it. You know, you can fill it in with other pieces. They could be embossed pieces, like whatever scrap you have lying around. This one isn't quite long. I didn't put quite enough piece of sole to this one. Generally speaking, if you're working on half inch strips, you need eight of them, is what I have discovered. Okay, so now this is our fun little hot mess. We're going to turn it over, grab your non ribbon scissors, and you're just going to snip off. off here. So these, these are going to be in the garbage, but these pieces, some of them are going to be long enough that you could use on another card. Who am I kidding? Well, maybe these ones I might. Okay. All right. Now, this is where it's going to go on your card. And I know how it's going to line up because this purple one I had on this left side, but now that I look at it, I see that this last piece over here, there's just going to be a little smidge, like, and that's going to bother me. <laughs> like, can you see what I mean? The, if I cut that off there, this one is really small and these ones are all half inch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scooch it down to the left so that it's the same amount on this guy as there is on the purple guy. So I'm centering those last two pieces so it doesn't look too weird. Like that. Okay. Now I'm gonna I'm just holding it. I'm gonna turn it over. And I'm gonna cut it off. And that is it. That that's that's our layout. So 
it's going to help you use up all those annoying little scraps that you cannot possibly part with in case you ever run out of paper. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, hello, Virginia. Here I am. Intermission. There you go, Jennifer. Must be hockey night. Okay. So to keep it simple, right, we're just going to do this. I'm going to grab a sentiment. I'm going to stamp the sentiment. We're going to add maybe an embellishment or two. Boom, we're done. I am using this, this particular layout. This is the perfect, the perfect stamp set for this. Sweetly scripted. It's an online exclusive. Um, and it is, it's got all the sentiments you need. Save the date. Excuse me. Speedy recovery. A million thanks. Happy birthday. Congratulations and happy anniversary. So this one, um, what have I got? What's inked up here? I have a uh, million thanks and I also have congratulations. I'm going to do congratulations and I'm going to stamp that in my Blackberry Bliss because I just inked it up. Now I'm going to, I'm going to move this off. This stamp is longer, <coughs> excuse me, than the layer. So I'm doing it on my glass mat for this purpose. All right. So again, this guy isn't taped down yet. Uh, you have complete creative license. You can put it way down here and stamp the sentiment up here. You could put this way up here and put the sentiment down here. I think I'll do one up. I think I'll do that down there. And the congratulations up here. Do whatever you want, wherever you want. Congratulations. Move that and clean off your mat. The purples and the reds are nasty. That stuff will get everywhere. Okay. All right. Now, you could then keep it like this, add an embellishment or two, um, or not. You could just leave it like this. We could step it up. Okay. Should I take a picture of it like this? Maybe I should just leave it like this. I can't leave it that naked, can I? No, I cannot. I can't do it, you guys. No. I mean, come on. We can stretch to a little bit of ribbon, right? All right. So I am going to... I'm grabbing my Baker's Twine. You know me and my Baker's Twine. That and my three my three jewels. Like they're pretty much law on a card from Tamara. Okay, so I'm just going to tie... But if you're mass producing like 50 of these, you know, say for Christmas, you don't have to add ribbon and everything and all the things. This is just a lovely card as it is. All right, so I'm just going to make my tails the same length. Just, um, when I was in Canmore, I did my nails and I put together three craft kits. Oh, yes, I did. I did pictures of two of them. I put together um, the kit that is... Hang on. Squirrel. Squirrel moment. Wait. Let me show you. Because these are like on sale this week, like or this month. 10% off. Look at the size of this monster box. This is my hand. Like it is as tall as my hand. Oh, look what's happening here. <laughs> I just I want to show you this. Because this came together in about mm, half an hour. There they have dividers chipboard dividers seasonal miscellaneous thank you special occasion love and support birthdays and then the cards that go with and there's no stamping on these so it's like peel and stick and glue and then you just pop them in this will hold a whole heck of a lot of cards you guys half an hour to put this together and I'm thinking there's my mother's Christmas present done because she always needs cards for her friends anyway they're 10% off right now. They're like $30 and 60 something cents. You should get some. I did. I was glad. Gave me something to do. All right. I digressed. Shocking, I know. All right, so now I'm going to pop this up on dimensionals. Because isn't this just a cute little card? I love it. So cute. I do have... Okay, my comments aren't scrolling again. Thanks, Deborah. Hello, my friend. Oh, you guys, I'm in such a good mood. I like happy Dolores better than cranky Dolores. My family, though, I'm really annoying. Like, I don't know if they prefer cranky Dolores or annoying happy Dolores. 
I can be really obnoxious when I'm happy. Really annoying. Oh, and then Craig gets to work from home for another two weeks. I missed my guy as much as he drives me crazy for always being underfoot. Uh, he's been working from home for the last couple of weeks because they're doing some work at the office. And then he had to go back in today. And I was like at noon, I missed him. And then all of a sudden I heard the garage door open. Oh, <gasps> he was home. And he gets to work from home for the next two weeks because the, uh, the construction isn't done yet. So I'm very happy to have my fella home. All right, so there we go like that. You could leave it at that. You sure could. Or you could grab, we have lots of different embellishments. Now, you know me, I'm a little little crazy about my, my embellishments. These ones actually go with this paper. They're regal foiled adhesive back dots. And they're perfect coloring. However, they're too small for this big, big space. That drove me a little crazy. So I found these ones. Transparent adhesive back dots. And I use them because they have two sizes and they're bigger. So they're taking up more of the real estate. So I'm just going to add three jewels because you know me. Gotta have three. And boom. Card keeper kit. Thank you. Uh, 20 boxes. Oh, for seriously, Gloria. Yeah, no, these are the giveaway. No, I do have, I have... I think 15 or 20 shoe boxes upstairs and they're all for here's Christmas, here's birthday, here's thank, like thanking, like, oh yeah, I get it. I hear you. Okay. Uh, where are those gold bells on your mat? Oh, well, they're for a different card. Hang on. <laughs> uh, Cindy, that's from the uh, reindeer fun. That's what they're from. We'll get to that one. Okay. You guys like seriously, ah, I'm losing, I'm losing my gems. Hang on. Uh, how quick and easy is this card and how cute, right? How cute? So cute. How cute is that? Now, what you could do with this piece that I said was optional, you can use that as a mat. So this is simple, right? Simple, basic layout. Number one, step it up. How? By adding a layer. Okay. So we added a mat. All right. This one I had down here. A million thanks. This, this isn't showing well on the glass mat. Okay, so that's basic. Step it up just by adding a layer. Step it up some more by embossing this. So, hmm, I am going to show you. Okay, let's do another. I'm going to show you 732. I'll show you a different, a different one of this difficulty level. This one is using the Mediterranean Blooms paper. Yeah. Oh, me too, Trina. Me too. Oh, thank you, Cindy. Okay, so this is the Mediterranean Blooms. And then here's where the Christmas bells came from. I was thinking, okay, simple. I do have to make 200 of these. Huh? Bells. I was going to put um, some bows on these bells, but I thought that was going to be overkill because we've got a bow here. So you could, you don't need this, right? You could take off that and you could put little bows, paper bows on here. Okay, and now we're going to do one that's stepped up with all the things. So here's super basic, a little bit stepped up, and now let's go full on. Yes, Judy, great minds, great minds. Okay, so the, actually what I had shown you uh, when I did the recipe earlier were these pieces. So I might have like a bazillion scraps left. Um, there were lots of these little pieces left from, um, uh, from our extravaganza. Okay. These were what our cards were used with. And I went like, surely we could use these for something. So I chopped them up. Now this, I mean, these pieces are one and a half. So yeah, if I make them into half inch pieces, Lord, I could, I, I could make so many cards just with these five pieces, these five strips. Okay. So let's do this. I'm pretty darn excited that I got to use some mossy meadow. If you follow along, you'll know that I might have ordered seven packages of this instead of seven packages of this. So I have an awful lot, an awful lot of mossy meadow. So this is my card base is mossy meadow. And that also makes things like a little bit more fancy is um, if you use um, a colored card base. Now it does bump up the cost of your cards because you only get 24 pack, 24 in a pack of your colored card stock, whereas you get 40 in your pack of white, vanilla, black too, I think. Uh, anyway, it's more expensive. So I've got a layer. Now this is the one I said the layer is optional. This one is uh, Old Olive. I'm just going to put that down right now. And I do need vanilla. I need, is this the right 
size now. This is indeed the right size. Okay, and then I'm going to go with vanilla because these are vanilla. Okay, let's just tidy up our mess here a little bit. Bertram, a little bit tidy. Mm -hmm. Oh, me too, Beth. Hi, Beth. Mm. No grandbabies today? All right, so these are already in half-inch strips. And so I'm going to chop them into three-inch. All right. I mean, and three is, you don't even need them to be three, but let's just keep it simple. Three. Three. Two sides to every piece. And I like all the sides of these papers. They're all really pretty. Okay, what do we got here? And we've got this one, three. Oh, do I have another gold? Where is that gold one? Hang on, I've got another piece here somewhere. Where are you, gold? Here you are. I see you I'm trying to hide. This one, so we'll three. He's wider than the rest. We'll make him half. Again, if you want to use um, different widths, that's fine too. Where's that other card? So this card, these two panels were wider. How wide were they? Three quarters of an inch? Yeah, these ones are three quarter of an inch. So it's just whatever you have, you don't have to cut them down. It, it makes it a little bit more interesting if they're different uh, widths and such. And what else have I got here? Where is that? This one. I don't think I have this one out. Three. Oh, polka dots? No, polka dots? Where are you? Polka dots. There's polka dots. Careful, we'll do it this way. Three. So that one will be that one. And we can use the other side. And then do we have a solid? I'm missing a few pieces. I guess I didn't grab them all. Do do do. Hang on. I've got a big pile over here. So many scraps, so little time. Oh, okay. What's this one? This is a different pattern I didn't use yet. Could use this one. Uh -huh. Oh, that was two. What time is it? 738. Lots of time. Half an inch there. How many have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That should do. All right. Now we're going to do what we did before. I'm going to grab, if I still have one, a one and three quarters by six inch strip. One three quarters by six inch strip. Okay. And it doesn't matter that it's white because it's going to be covered up. So I am going to add. All right. Hi, Linda. Hope all is well. All right. So I'm just going to add the paper there. Now, let's say this is going to go here. Let's see now. Let's go. Plaid. All right, so put him down first. Then let's go stars. Oh, very sticky. Now this one, I had trouble um, coming up with which ribbons because we've got so many different golds and we've got so much that we can, uh, so much that we could use for embellishing. Where's my, here's this guy, this guy, polka dots, stripes, okay, oh, it was a little sticky. All right, so now we're going to trim it off. Hi, Gail. What was the name of the designer? Uh, her name is Heidi Collins on, like O-N-Y, 
as a different word. And then the next, last word is go. On you go. Uh, so O-N-Y-G-O stamping.com. Her name is Heidi Collins and she's in Mount Pleasant, Michigan. Uh, follow her on Instagram. She always comes up in my reels. Like I'm a, I'm a Facebook girl, right? And, but they still have reels pop up and uh, she's a lot of fun. She's been doing cards for a long time. I think she, she took a break. Did she say 20, 2008? She took a break, uh, you know, life. And, um, and then she, she's back now. So she's got some amazing designs. I, I really enjoy her. Okay. So that's garbage. Okay. So now this is going to go ultimately here. So same as before, I just want to make sure that these two pieces are fairly similar in size. Um, so I'll go like that and then I'll flip it over and trim it. Thank you, Liz. Okay, so there we are like that. Now, it's a little sticky. I'm going to stamp on this one. I want a Merry Christmas because I'm a, y'all know I'm a Merry Christmas girl and I got some sticky here. So I'll just grab my gummy eraser. So it's not stuck down permanently, but I'm going to grab my Merry Christmas from the Reindeer Fun because it's straight. I love the font and it's the perfect size. I'm going to grab my Mossy Meadow. Stamp that up here or down here. Hmm. No, I'm going to go up here. Merry Christmas. Okay. Now I'm going to let that dry for a minute. I want it to be really dry. While that's happening, I'm going to cut bell. I have one extra bell, but I need another extra bell. So where are my bells from? My bells are from the other set that I used. This is the, um, another online exclusive. Which one is this one called? This is the, uh, Golden Greenery. The bells are from Golden Greenery. Just grab a piece of gold here. Oh, it's got some sticky. All right. Let's do that. It's not even the same gold. Yes, it is. Okay. Put that back. All right. Now, in order to step this up a little bit more, so step one to step it up, we've put a layer. And oh, seriously, Wanda, you're not wrong. Uh, I'm going to run this through the embossing folder if I can find it because here it is. The embossing folder option. This is the dashing designs. And now that we've stamped it, I'm going to run it through the embossing folder. You don't want to run it through the embossing folder and then stamp because it's very hard to get a good image uh, because of all the bumps and lumps. And so you might not get a good, a good sentiment. So you want to stamp it first and then emboss it. All right, now look how fancy. And then we're going to go like that. Like this is really stepped up now, right? Pretty fancy. We could, I won't have enough time to do it, but what you could do is you could run this entire thing through. Ooh. I'm going to do it. I'm doing it, you guys. Normally, I, okay, on the other one, I popped it up, right? I popped this up on dimensionals. I'm not going to. Let's get crazy. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tape this down flat. Let's take a bit of a risk because I'm going to see if I can actually line it up at the same spot in the embossing folder. <laughs> and I'm going to run the whole thing through this way. Okay, so let's see if I can do this. Let's see how good Tamara really is. Okay, watch this. Now this is going to make it a little bit tighter. Not quite. 
I can do it. Hang on. Oh, these glasses are driving me nuts. I'm having a weird hair day today. I was trying to get my curls back. I, I looked at a picture of me in, when it was in COVID and I had curls and I thought, I want my curls back. So I tried to get them back today and it didn't really work. Okay. So I'm having a crazy hair day. All right. I'm running this whole thing through the embossing folder now. It's going to be a little bit tighter just because there's that extra layer of designer paper, but it's nothing this big shit. Well, our big boy can't handle. Okay. Look at now the whole thing is textured. Huh? Is that cool? Okay. And then we'll pop this up on dimensionals. Um, what we could also do now is do the ribbon. Okay. So I have from a hundred years ago, we have, we do have, um, vanilla baker's twine it's in the essentials pack there's like five different kinds the black the white the cream the blah 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 uh so you get five or six rolls but i have this old roll of vanilla so i'm using that and i'll tie the bow around here <laughs> liz <laughs> So Liz, yeah, if we wanted to do the free shipping, I know what the code is, but I would need your log. Either you need to create the label and then mail it, like email it to me, and I would give you the dimensions of the box and everything, or uh, you have to give me your login and your password, and I could create the label myself. I know what the code is, but I, because I've, I, I have my own, and so it would have to be yours. I think it was you who said you had one. All right, so there's our bow. Oh, this is so pretty. Love it. Actually, no, no. Oh, oh, that is really pretty. Okay, but no. Off, off with you. Off with you. You don't get to be on my card. No, I'm going to use this guy. So this is some other ribbon we have. This is cream, and it's like almost velvety. And it's thin. So for this one, so I need to mix it up a little bit, right? Got to show you some options. It can't always be Baker's Twine. I'm just going to wrap this around the back and secure it with my tear and tape. If I can find the tear and tape. There it is. <laughs> Yay, Liz! I love when you guys try stuff. And when it works out, and then you share, and then we all go, ooh, and we just enable each other. <laughs> All right, so this I'm going to put down here. Again, this is the stepped up version, right? You can keep it simple. But every now and then you're like, ooh, I got all the toys. Let's use all the toys. So I'm cementing this down. Now I'm going to pop this up on dimensionals. I can find them as I can. Okay. Did you see Dolores went hiking? In the mountains, most impressive. In all the times we go to the mountains, we don't actually hike. We go, we shop, we eat. <laughs> but whoever it was who said, go check out Engine Bridge, I love you. Because it was only nine minutes from downtown Canmore. That's my kind of hiking. It was beautiful. Absolutely breathtaking. All right, so there we go like that. Now, ugh, roll up the sleeves. I'm going to attach my bells. It is Virginia. Yes. All right. So this, I'm going to put this little guy. So I've put a dimensional down low on the bell and I want it to look like it's kind of hanging off the ribbon a little bit. So he's going to go here. And the reason I'm putting it down low is that I don't want it to be touching on the ribbon. It's not necessary to be there. And then this guy's going to tuck under, I guess I should have done him first maybe. Okay. Tracy. I'm coming. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Multitasking. Really? Yeah, but Tracy, what about the ribbons in that? Okay, then I'm bringing in this uh, 
uh, Baker's Twin. Because that won't fit through, I don't think. I guess I, it probably could, but hey, if uh, if they're okay to wait till Tuesday free shipping, then that's great. All right, so I'm gonna go like this, and I'm gonna grab a glue dot. And I'm gonna put that on here. I'm gonna put that on there, and then piece de resistance. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? It's cute. Uh, then I grabbed these gems. So like I'm always looking at, ooh, what gems can I use? We have all kinds of different golds uh, that would work. And ultimately I ended up going with the vanilla because this is pretty as it is. And I didn't want it really to take away. You could color these. These are the natural or the earth tones shimmer gems. And I used the vanilla. So it's tone on tone, vanilla on vanilla. So it's really subtle. You can barely see they're on there. We do have lots of golds that work. I pulled out three or four different packages that would totally work with this. And boom. Fancy schmancy. So check it out. So this is the one I did. I did this one with a white background. Just because I thought this was looking a little white. These were white. So the white, whoops, focus. The white doesn't not work as my English teacher would be rolling his eyes, double negatives, right? The white can work as well because it does have some white in some of these papers, but the vanilla, I'm not sure which one I like better actually. Um, I'm going to take away this mat and then maybe we can see which, oh, I'm afraid something is going to fall and break. No falling, no breaking. Let's see which one looks better now. Okay. Is that better for glare? I have this permanent coffee cup burn mark in my desk. So we've got the white and the vanilla. You can't really tell too much of a difference on camera, but uh, I can. Um, like how fun is that? So you go from, where, okay, where have we got here? Where have we got? Lord, what's happened to my English? So you start off easy and simple, just very few supplies. So if you're a beginner stamper or if you have to make a hundred or if you have minimal supplies, Stick with option one. If you've got a little bit of cardstock that you want to use up, add a layer. Just steps it up a little bit, but adds a lot of wow. Okay. Then the third version, stepping it up, I embossed the background and added more stuff and things. And then this one, I embossed everything together. So there really is kind of the, the graduated from a beginner to using all the things. Ta -da! And I should be doing insides and envelopes, but I didn't. So these are the options we had tonight. Why is it so glary over there? Holy Hannah, stop it. You're killing me. Hmm. Okay. Very glowy, right? Just so easy. So I can't wait to see what you guys come up with with this layout because the options are endless. We got, I was thinking like my head was spinning. I couldn't create fast enough. How about the bird paper do, or the, um, the wood grain, whatever this is country woods. And then you could use the wood grain embossing folder for the background, right? How beautiful, a nice masculine birthday card. Are you kidding me right now? I need another hour to play. Like, look, you could just put down all the wood papers and then a happy birthday. Thank you, Marlene. Like they just, their papers are delicious. We've got the coffee paper and it all just coordinates, right? We've got all the coffee paper. The one that I, the other one I wanted to try. So I've got the blues, we've got it in blue, but I also have it in pink, the country, whatever this is called, countryside rose, but we have the countryside I don't know, garden or whatever it's called, all the different pinks. Like what a neat, what a cute baby card. Oh my God, you guys, like seriously. Uh, here's, here it is in the blue. Oh, boy, baby, girl, baby. Oh, what else have I got? And I like just, there's the airplane paper. I got it all. How about the, <coughs> excuse me, this is the Christmas take a bow, take a bow, whatever it's called. You could use scenery. You can do like so much, you guys, but isn't it just fun? I love angles. It makes me happy. It makes me happy. When the skies are gray. 
So that's it. That's all. Um, if and when you play along, because I know most most of you watch and you uh, you play later tomorrow tomorrow, uh, I would love for you to take a picture and I will take pictures of mine and I'll post them. And then if you could do the same, that would be awesome. Um, okay. So I've got the kits. Uh, I'll go through and figure out who's getting what tomorrow's Tuesday. So I do have to get all my labels done for the free shipping days in Tuesday. Um, what else was on my list was the starter kit. You guys, if you're not a demonstrator, please consider getting the starter kit. Okay. I promise you, I promise you, you don't have to do anything with it. It's just a great, great deal. So if you're not a demonstrator, sign up, get the kit, even if you just want tape and paper, <coughs> excuse me, um, embellishments or envelopes, get it in the starter kit because you don't pay shipping or tax and then do nothing, do nothing, go back to being a customer, but you get to, you get to, um, uh, save, save, you get more. First of all, you get $206 worth of stuff for 135 and there's no tax or shipping. So just get the deal and then go back to being a customer. Uh, you don't have to do anything, but you get to be a trailblazer and we're a fun group and you'll be with us then. What month is this? Is it October? You'll be with us till the end of like until end of April without doing anything. And then you just drop, you ride off into the sunset. But meanwhile, you get to have some fun. You get to hang out with us. You get to go to the team socials, save some money, um, you get to see the back office, you get in on early ordering. There's so much and you get minimum 20% off everything you order. So if you do want to order, you're just, you're saving money. Like seriously, give it some thought. Give me a, send me a message. I will help you without pressuring you. I don't want to pressure you, but I will encourage you. I will encourage you to sign up, even if it's just for the deal. I promise I won't force you to stick around and do the business. I won't. I don't. Right. You can, I've had people buy the kit six or seven times. They buy it, they drop, they buy it, they drop. It's fine. It's cool. It's, it saves you money. Um, so there's that our kits, like say the all inclusive kits are a 10 to 30% off right now. And so the ones that I did, I finished off, let me just show you because I have two minutes and you guys are still here. So most of you, let me just show you the ones that I did very quickly. This was an old, uh, an older one that I had bits and pieces left over, like I hadn't finished them. They're, they look like shaker cards. They're so impressive and they're so easy. These are the ones, oh, that I scooped for the uh, for my fundraiser. So there you go. There's a plug. If you guys have $30 in your budget, I would be ever so grateful if you could send it to me. I am purchasing kits. I think I'm probably up to 80 kits. My goal is 100. And Sue, Sue is hot on my heels. Sue Phillip. Um, from, from Victoria, she's hot. We have a competition going on and she's, she's at like 70 kits and I think I'm at 80 and I need to kick her butt. So $30 donation will buy a kit for Santa's anonymous. If you don't know what that is, uh, in our, in the Edmonton area, um, parents can register for a family to get presents from Santa Claus for their children, uh, if, for, for low income families who can't afford to buy presents for their kids. So it's, it's a big campaign here in, in Alberta. And so I'm scooping these kits to give to the nine to 12 year old age group because they're harder to, to fill. So not quite, thank you for asking Linda, great minds. Um, all, almost, I have to crunch the numbers. I've purchased 58 already. They're in the hallway, uh, because I want to make sure I could get the ones that I wanted to get. And some are cheaper than $30, but that also helps cover the shipping and so on. Uh, and I don't profit from this. I'm thinking I probably will have already hit my quota because I roll my commission back into it. So uh, I think I have about another $300 worth so I can get another 10 kits uh, just off the commissions for for what you guys have donated already. So yeah, I've, I've had, I think I have 53 actual donations of $30 each. So thank you to everybody who's done that. Uh, and Linda, you've been very generous to Sue and myself. Um, yeah, even the even the playing field there. So if 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 you can stretch to it, uh, and it takes one thing off your list of things to do. Every Christmas I do purchase for Santa's Anonymous this year. I'm keeping it local. I'm supporting my own business and um, I'm not profiting though. I will roll all of my commissions and profits back into more kits. So it should be easily a hundred by the time we're done. We got two more weeks left. We're going no one more week. I'm going to the end of October to finish that off. So, uh, yeah, so that, the, the birthday kit is going to be a great one for boys or girls to make birthday cards for family and friends. So, but that's it. I've taken enough time from your evening. It is now 7.59, so I will bid you farewell. I'll take some pictures and I'll post them. Thank you for hanging out with me. I will be back on Friday for coffee break. 
Uh, my virtual newsletter, I missed it last week because I was in the I was driving home from the mountains. Um, yeah, if you have any questions on anything, you know where to find me. And uh, thanks for hanging out with me. Stay amazing. <laughs>